Hey y'all, this is my uh, tailgate workshop, and this is my steel MS390, which is similar to the uh, 290 and the 391. And uh, what we have is uh, a bad sprocket in here. It's wore out, and it's wore to the point where the chain is getting kind of locked up. It happened a couple of times, and I took it apart, and I seen the the wear on my sprocket and uh, I was able to get another half a day's use out of it but uh, in the meantime I went and got a new one uh, it's like 23 bucks at the steel dealer you can probably find them cheaper online but uh, I'd rather have it in my hand so uh, here's how you do here's what you do to replace it just take the bar off and as soon as I get this off I'll be right back okay just this is a little C clip here it holds everything on be careful you don't lose it. There we go. Take the washer off. Take the sprocket off. There'll be a roller bearing here. Now, I had this off yesterday, and I put a little oil on it uh, yesterday, so I'm not going to do it today, but I want to show you the difference in the sprockets. How worn they are. It's not terrible. I've seen them worse, but uh, that explains why it doesn't quite go around the bar. Oh, uh, there's a notch here. Let me let me look at this. Sometimes at these notches, you'll get a split, and as they go around, they'll dig into the case on the outside. So it's always a good thing to double check these. But this is not split. So that notch. Let me see if I can tilt this up. Can you see that little bar in there, hun? Right there. A little rod sticking out right here what you want to do is you want to get that notch and you want to put this on you want to make sure it goes right over that rod and that is the oiler there we go put that back on put the c-clip back on There we go. It's on. Easy peasy.